Well, I only mow here in Texas about two or three times a year. It generally doesn't have enough moisture, and I only mow when it's moist. So you probably all can hear there's a storm blowing in and rattling, and uh, I like storms, so I capture them every time. So there, you think there's a lot of rain if you watch my channel. There's not. Uh, well, I could go 100 days of between rain. We've got about 37 inches of rain a year. They say that's as much as Seattle. I don't know. I'll have to look that up and verify that. It just comes all at once in a month and then skips 45 or 90 days and then rains again all at once. Just had a flooding, in fact, down in San Antonio. So let me put you on stop motion while I mow. I'll play some music. Uh, just got to get through this. I usually run out of batteries about the time I run out of string. So. <laughs> These here are called uh, goat's heads. You might call them sand burrs. But without my chaps, they would jump off those stalks and then they staple my uh, pants to my legs. And uh, they don't come out very easy. I think they got barbs on them yet. Uh, so when I first moved to Texas from up north, I said, oh, I've got sand burrs. And they said, not like goat's head. I thought they were bragging everything being bigger in Texas. No, nope. it's true. Uh, their ants are meaner here. Their snakes are meaner. Their grass is meaner. Everything's meaner in Texas. Goat's heads. All right, let me put you on stop motion, play some music. All right, well, my purple sage say rain's on the way. For those of you who watch my channel, I just put it here in front of this gate because uh, the uh, old timers say if you put a purple sage in front of your gate, then spirits can't, evil spirits can't cast through and mess with your farm. Well, I use it as a rain gauge. When it's like that, I know rain is on the way. All right, so I gotta go up and down this here fence. And if you've been watching, I do both my side and the other side and reach under, so I do both sides at the same time. Uh, let me get going. I even had one of those goat's heads fly out, bump me in the chest, drop down in my, uh, behind my chaps and still stab me. <laughs> really something.
Well, I'm sure glad that I only weed whack that a couple of times a year because it's hard work, it's super hard work. But uh, my goal is to get grass growing here instead of weeds and then uh, if there's grass the cattle will, will graze along the edge and keep the, the weeds down for me. So overseeding and then you know doing this and overseeding and just encouraging the grass to fill in is, is what I want to do. When I started this a few years ago it was uh, mesquite and thorns and uh, now I'm getting there. Uh, it does look a lot better without all the the growth but <clears throat> this time I had a big problem because of all these broken strands of barb, barb wire the cattle came through the fence a couple of times and they stretched this and they broke it so now when I run my weed eater down here I, I keep catching a strand of bar, barbed wire in the ground there's a broken piece in the ground fifth uh, or sixth line probably could lift it up anyway my catches that and then it, it uh, melts my uh, string and then it sticks together inside and the friction causes a big problem for me so I still got some more fences just like this to do and uh, I've got another couple of fence rows probably another mile maybe I've got another mile to weed whack but I'll, I'll get it done <laughs> I'm determined. I'll get it done. All right. This is Steve, a thousand year home. Like, subscribe, follow me along. Bye.